All right, guys, it is pretty late right now. I'm getting ready to do the top secret Wangan broken boosted run to the exhaust shop right now. I'm freaking moving all the cars out of the driveway so I can get it out of its little tucked away corner. Hood is off, as you can see. All the intercooler piping is done. You guys are gonna see the intercooler piping video here. Probably not tomorrow, because it's gonna be too late to edit tonight. But because I feel bad for making you guys wait an extra day for that video, I'm gonna be snapping my journey. Midnight freaking run to the exhaust shop. We got the Rudnick pipe exhaust, freaking Ricer Miata style, ready for the trip. In case it lights anything on fire, I got my freaking fire extinguisher. Okay, this thing pretty much cannot idle at all because it's got no O2 sensor. We're just getting ready to take off. Wish me luck. minutes in three minutes in so far so good but I'm a little worried about the freeway to be honest and the heat that this pipe is gonna generate now of course I can't go into boost because I have no AFR reading so I have literally no idea if it's running rich or lean maybe just a couple PSI but just for you guys just for you guys. Alright, we freaking busted a coolant hose on the belt right there because I'm an idiot and I didn't zip tie it good enough. Freaking hood is covered. Can't even see. Teddy, what kind of exotic animal is this? It's a sugar glider, man. Sugar glider. <laughs> I have repaired the hose. I cut off the part with the hole in it, and it was just barely long enough to make it there. Zip tied it out of the way. I'm gonna add some water and head to the shop. we made it nothing caught on fire didn't even get to use my fire extinguisher we're gonna have a downpipe made for this thing put it into the stock exhaust